welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today in this short practical video i will guide you for basic information about steel structure design if you are working on construction site if you are studying so you should know about the basic info about steel structure design as you can see guys i will discuss about lapping and steel structure beam size inside steel reinforcement cantilever beam column details beam span and next guys you can see the footing details so this is a short video so therefore watch this video till the end to know about basic information if you are new on this channel so you may subscribe the channel and like the video if you have already subscribed the channel so you may like this video the topic is okay so the first of all guys you can see lapping so one is in tension uh, the other one is in compression so which is using for column this is using for column for column lapping and this one is using specially in slab and beams okay this lapping remember guys first of all this is very important to know about this important point first one don't provide lapping when dia of steel is 36 mm or more than this so this is very important so what should be the lapping length guys remember in rcc slab or in beam if that is floor beam or plinth beam so it should not be less than 60 d okay where d is this one d this is dia of steel it means for example if we are using 12 millimeter dia so 12 multiply 60 okay it means guys you can see about 600 millimeter so this is the lapping length for beam if we are using 12 millimeter if we are using 16 millimeter so 16 multiply 6 then you will get the length of lapping length okay if that is in beam or an rcc slab okay if there is plain beam or uh, every beam okay but if that is uh, in horizontal so you can use this one okay next guys if you see the lapping is inside the column okay so where we you can provide the lapping i will guide you in next video now if you require to provide the lapping okay so the lapping in column should not be less than 50 d where d is a die of steel rod as we discussed before for example 12 millimeter so this is six so this is a, a going about 720 sorry so this is going for example 12 millimeter multiplies six uh, 50 okay so this is about 600 millimeter okay and the lapping is not allowed to provide at the bottom or next for example this is bottom and this is top not at the distance of after or uh, you can say it don't provide at the distance of, of h by 2 i will guide you but this is very important as we discussed before next guys the second one the beam size for normal residential building if that is g plus one story or gr ground floor so don't use size of beam guys you can see size of beam don't use less than 9 inches by 12 inches it should be minimum this is the size of beam if that is ground floor or first floor so 9 by 12 inches is the minimum size of beam okay if this is plant beam or floor beam so this is the minimum size next guys inside uh, you can see the red lights can show you the steel reinforcement so hooks are very important this one guys and this hook should be bent on 135 degree guys you can see from here to this one it should be on 135 degree or angle you can say okay next and its length guys you can see this length in this one should not be less than 75 millimeter or you can say three inches or three inches okay remember this important point next the dial of this stirrups should not be less than eight millimeter okay, normally people are using about uh, uh, six millimeter but that is very short or minimum diameter so this is uh, eight millimeter is best when you are using 12 millimeter main steel rods for example one is this one this is the other one and these three bottoms okay 
these are the details next guys the concrete cover you can see in steel structure design the concrete cover should not be less than 40 millimeter or you can say 1.5 inches both sides 1.5 plus 1.5 about 3 inches bottom top left right okay so the, this is the second one next guys cantilever beam remember guys the fixed end should be the depth should be maximum suppose this is about for example 12 inches and the free end guys it should not be more than six inches okay you can dec decrease but you can't increase uh, from this one or but uh, you should provide the slope that's why because uh, this is uh, we are not making uh, overload this point okay when the load comes on the top of this so the depth should be minimum compared to this one okay especially in cantilever beam so you should know about this next one guys you can see the fourth one the minimum size of the column should not be less than nine inches by nine inches with four numbers of steel rods same guys the concrete cover should be 40 millimeter okay concrete cover next guys used minimum four bars okay and the dia should not be less than 12 millimeter the stirrup dia as we discussed eight millimeter with the spacing of six inches it's okay okay concrete cover we already discussed the hooks as we discussed 75 millimeter and it should be made on 135 degree if you see guys the uh, the footing so we already provided the footing so in singly mesh uh, for g plus one story don't go uh, more than singly mesh okay so singly mesh, mesh is best guys you can see the concrete cover you can use here three inches okay are 75 millimeter and these hooks guys you can see it should not be less than six inches this is al also very important so for all sides top bottom left right the concrete cover should be 75 millimeter and here guys you can see the pcc is very important pcc okay normally you can uh, do uh, 148 or 136 is best okay if you are doing this one so this is best next guys these legs are very important to provide at the bottom which we are um, uh, fix are uh, making uh, the by, uh, bending especially at this place on the top of the footing it should not be less than 12 inches the leg length okay leg length should not be less than 12 inches next guys you can see with cantilever beam uh, we lifted this one the span of beam remember for g plus one for g plus one story building ground floor and first floor don't go more than 20 feet okay for that you should hire the structure engineer when you are going g plus one otherwise you will face more problems because we have more chances of cracks when we increase the spin between two columns so therefore you should know about the diameter and you should know about the situation of the steel structure design the steel structure load according to the steel structure load uh, applied load you should do its calculation so this is not the easy way to know uh, what should be the size of beam what should be the size of column because we have to do uh, the proper calculation for these things so therefore you should hire the structure engineer so you can also contact me the link is in the description of this video or you can contact me on, on my whatsapp number so if you need the steel structure design so thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye